In this video, we're going to create these cute personalized tin cups. They make an amazing gift. So I'll have the link below in the description for these sublimation ready enamel 12 ounce tin cup blanks. So these are the tin cups that we're going to be using and then I'm using 125 sublimation paper. And I'm going to be pressing these today in the Cricut Mug Press. You can use any press that you want. I'm just using the Cricut Mug Press for these. So I wanted to show you a comparison on some other tin cups that I have done. The ones on the left are 12 ounce insulated tin cups. And the one on the right is just this 12 ounce tin cup that we're going to be using. So you can see it is considerably smaller and it has a big lip on it where that um, metal band is. And I'll talk to you more about that in a bit. So here I'm doing a custom design for these tiny little tin cups. They're so cute little camping mugs. And so I'm going to show you how I get this just the right size that I want it. It actually, these have about a two and a half inch area to work with. And so I made sure you can see that these are separate pieces here. So I've got the name and I've got the date and everything. I'll put this back together here. Um, go back and put this back together. But I wanna show you how I decide, decide what size this is all going to be. So I actually measured the cup and the cup has got about a two and a half inch square area to work with. So then I'll go into insert and then shapes and I find, you know, rectangle, circle, whatever works. Well, we're going to do a square here. So I bring in the square. And then if you see up here, I can get in here and I can make this exactly 2.5 by 2.5. Do that same thing here, 2.5. So now that made that an exact 2.5 by 2.5 inch square. And then if I do the wrap and the through, I can move this and I can put it on top of the area so I can send this backwards. And then you can see that that fits in that area. And now I'll move it down here and I'll do the same thing again. This is pretty tight here. So I'm gonna send it backwards and you see it fits nicely in this area. And that is how I decide, oops, picked up the wrong one there. That's why I figure out the sizing because with like these little tin cups and with a three inch ceramic ornament or anything like that, you want to have this background so that you know how to build your design from that. One more thing that I wanted to point out in this video is that you can change the color of some things. So um, the mountains and let adventure begins. I went into picture format and I changed the color. So I thought I would just show you how to change it to blue. You can see the arrows pointing there to picture format. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the image that you want to change the color of. You're going to go into picture format and then under color, it will show you what colors are available. So here you can see that I changed the color of that to blue. I'm not going to leave it blue. I just wanted to show you that it can be done. And here I've just filled my paper with other images. I don't like to waste paper, so I'm not going to print these just for these tin cups. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this one and then I'm going to print a second sheet so that I have the exact same image for both of the tin cups. So now it's time to print our images. So I've went into my printer settings. I'm using the Epson EcoTank 2760 that I have converted over to sublimation printing. This printer has sublimation ink in it. And so you're going to go into your printer properties where that arrow is pointing. And in your printer properties, you're going to make sure that you have premium presentation paper matte. You want the quality to be high. And then you're going to go under more options. 
And under image options, I like to, to um, pick emphasize more and emphasize thin lines. And then you're going to check mirror your image below. And then you're going to make sure that high speed is unchecked. So here I have trimmed down my image and I'm showing you the back side because I actually like to crease my image so that I know exactly where the center is to put it on these mugs. You want to be sure to clean your blanks. Here I'm using a coffee filter to clean mine. You can use whatever you want. A lot of people use a lint roller. I prefer a coffee filter. You want to make sure you get everything off. Then I have this mat that I've created so that when I set it on there, I can find center from the handle and the side of the tin cup. That's why I creased my image is so that I know exactly where center is. And then I've also got an arrow pointing to that big lip on these. And we'll talk about that again. So here on the left, you can see that I've centered my image and I've got it taped on. And then on the right, I just took some of Bob. Um, some of my sublimation paper that I had extra of that didn't have anything on it. You can use regular copy paper or whatever you want, but I did put protective paper on this because I don't want any stray ink getting on my image. And always use heat resistant tape. Now, as I've been pointing out with that lip, you can see that when I put it down in my mug press, it has to really work to get around that lip. So I was worried that it might not press tight enough, but I did put it all the way in and I've got it centered real well and then I pressed it for one full cycle in my Cricut mug press. After that full cycle was done, I opened my mug press and I raised that tin cup up so that that lip is over the top and then I pressed it for another 45 seconds. So I did both of these tin cups the same way. So you can see the front on one of them and the back on the other. And they turned out great. And this is going to make a great gift. I have links below in the description for items that I've used in this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.